We are live. Hello, it's Bill, the knee pain guru. Today is Monday, April 18th, 2022. Today we're going to talk about some knee pain stuff. MCL tear, lack of flexion and stiffness in the knee joint. Okay, this question comes from Pam Nash. She writes, uh, Bill, I had an ACL reconstruction 34 years ago and ACL reconstruction and also had M an MCL tear. I was then 18 and I'm now 52. I have not had any further procedures on this knee. I am currently experiencing swelling and pain on the top side of the knee, as well as the back side radiating to the center of my butt, cheek. I also have lack of flexion and general stiffness in the joint. I'm wondering if the hardware used in the graph has worked itself back out or it is just scar tissue. The knee does feel a little relief while wearing a brace, but still has a general ache at all times. I would love suggestions on getting some relief. Thank you. Well, uh, we have to take a step back to look at what's going on that it may not have anything to do with the ACL reconstruction or the MCL tear. This could have a lot to do with the tension and stress that builds up in the body as a result of age. Like I am in and around Pam's age. Um, and there is accidents, injuries, surgeries, and traumas that build up in our body, in our neurology, as a result of uh, life. That's kind of what happens in life. And that tension and stress builds up in the joints and limits the range of motion. The knees don't feel right. The hips and lower back don't feel right. And there is, we have to look at a holistic approach. We can't just look at the knee and say, hey, if you take this supplement, or hey, if you do this, or hey, if you do that, it's going to make everything go away because your body doesn't function just in isolation like that. Your body is a system. You're, there's a lot of inputs that happen in that system throughout, our, throughout a day. Look at the day. Look at the day. You wake up, uh, alarm clock or not, you head to work. Um, dealing with uh, uh, traffic, uh, children, families, spouses, um, wanting to exercise, wanting to eat right, or, uh, you know, do we drink water, not drink water? Do we drink coffee when we're getting going in the morning? All of that is lumped together in our experience of our system known as our physical body. You add in the surgery on top of that, what happened 34 years ago, it all comprises your the experience, Pam's experience of what's going on in her knee. Well, we need to start picking apart that big conglomeration of stuff and begin to look at it as like, well, let's make this little tweak and adjustment. Pam, what happens when you drink a little bit more water? How do your knees feel throughout the day? Um, when do you drink the water? Morning, afternoon, evening. Are you consistent day after day? Are you drinking, uh, what happens when you drink a quart of water, half a gallon of water, a gallon of water? So now we're looking at just, just with water, just with that one thing. How does that change the experience of the knees? It could make a big difference. It can make no difference. Now, we look at that, you start drinking water, does your body respond by having to go to the bathroom a lot? Because if your body doesn't have the right balance of minerals, now what happens is you drink the water, the water goes right through you because your body doesn't have the ability, it doesn't have the resources to absorb the water that you're drinking to make a change in how your knees feel, and you just end up going to the bathroom and peeing everything out. So now we're 
we have the water into the equation. Now we have to look in the mineral, mineral balance. How do we balance that out? So the water that you are drinking is actually being absorbed, integrated into your system, and making a, a permanent and long-lasting change in how your knees feel. So we just looked at two variables. We looked at water and all of the elements that go into dialing water in, then the minerals in terms of making sure your body can absorb the water that you are drinking. Then let's look at neurological re-education or what I like to refer to as creating comfort in your knee. How can we begin to bring the balance back to the knee joint? Because sometimes the, the knee gets uh, not quite lined up correctly. When the knee's not lined up correctly, it doesn't bend easily or extend easily. It makes it painful to exercise. So we need to look at changing the neurology. Changing the neurology in conjunction with drinking the water, getting the right mineral balance. So you can see how this begins to... Um, it sounds like it's getting more complicated. In actuality, it's rather simple. It's a simple process because we're looking at simple th things to implement into your life to make a difference in how the knee feels. And once we begin to dial it in and create a new baseline for your experience of how your knees feel, then we build on that baseline. How can you have your knee comfortable and then add things into your life that you would like to do that may or may not make your knee feel better or worse. We take that into consideration. We figure out the path that's going to allow your knee to feel good all the time. That's the goal. Sure, you're going to overdo it at some point in time. We just go back to baseline, reestablish the baseline again. And then get your knee comfortable and then go ahead and push it. But it takes a little bit of time to change how the body feels, how we feel about the pain, our mental beliefs about how the body can heal itself. So we need to take a lot of these elements into consideration in order to allow your body the opportunity to heal itself. If that's making sense, Give the video a thumbs up, like, and subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications for future videos. And if you would like more information, you can shoot us a text or call on our toll-free number, 877-891-9484. Or you can head on over to my website, thekneepainguru.com, and sign up for a complimentary membership to Knee Club Light. You can check that out as well. So all of that is uh, available to you if you would like to get more help and support for your needs. If you have questions, please type those in the live chat and we answer those on future videos. I use those as content to share on future videos. So please go ahead and type that in the live chat. Or if you are watching the replay and you can put that in the comment section below, and we will use that as well. I read all of the questions and use them, weave them into uh, sharing a different perspective on how your body is able to heal your knees because your body defaults to it. It wants to heal your knees. If there's something in the way, the only reason your knees don't heal is because there's something in the way preventing it from doing so. The goal of my approach, my program is to help you understand how to remove those blocks. And when we begin to remove those blocks or stop doing the things that are causing your knees to hurt, the body heals very quickly. So, okay, that is, um, that's what we got for today. Uh, yeah, I have a video for you. I will play right before we wrap up here. But I'd like to say thank you so much for uh, watching today. This is Bill Paravano, the Knee Pain Guru, wishing you a wonderful day, and we will see you on the next video. Mm -hmm.